Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're going to use math type to write the following expressions. Um, so, I'm going to start by opening up math type, and we have a lot of things available to us here. Um, now, the first, the first one here we have chi squared, um, so we don't want to use just a capital X or anything, we want to use the actual chi symbol, which we can get over here. We have some uh, Greek symbols, so you can select all your Greek symbols here. This one here looks like chi squared. So there it is. So that's chi. If you want the squared, well over here is where we can get superscripts and subscripts. And you get them on the right or left so this little diagram shows us where it goes. I need a superscript here on the right and I just put in the squared. And notice that now the cursor is uh, flashing here. So I want to press the right arrow so that it moves over to the right and now I can continue typing things. Okay, so I just put in a less than sign from the keyboard and then I can do chi squared again. And well actually I need a subscript over here too. So for this chi squared I need a subscript so I'm going to click on here and click on this little one here for the subscript on the right and I just type in calc. And over here I'm going to do a uh, similar thing squared press the right arrow and then I'm going to do subscript 0.05. Okay, so we're done with that. You can copy and paste into a Word document or even uh, take a screenshot if you need to put it in some sort of other document as well. Uh, so, okay, that's the chi squared one there. Next, we have this, which is the, uh, the mean of x equals or approximately equals 3.45. Okay, so we can type in x and then we can highlight it or do this beforehand. And then we can go to, and there's two ways to do it. If I go to this one over here and click on this, then it's going to be way high above the x, so I don't like that one. So I'm going to undo that. And I, there's actually another way to do it over here. Okay, so you can get all kinds of weird symbols here, but. Um, you have this one right here that works a little bit better, so I like that one better. And up here in the top left hand corner we have a bunch of things like less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. I'm going to pick the approximately equal to symbol here and then just 3.45. So that's how we do that one. Uh, now I'm going to do this, uh, this one here, standard deviation is approximately 7.02. So I just need to get the standard uh, sigma symbol from the Greek letters and there it is. Okay, and then you can do 7.02 meters, and then again our superscript squared. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try this slope one right here. So I just type in m equals, and then I can start off with a fraction, um, or you could select. So you can type things in the both of the parts of the fraction, or you can actually type first and then make a fraction. So let me try it that way. So y, and then I go here for subscript 2 minus y subscript 1. Then I select the whole thing and click on this fraction button here. And I get that, and then in the denominator I can go x, oops, x subscript. Oh, I gotta delete that little empty box if you make a mistake. Sometimes I have to delete the empty bits. So subscript 2 minus x subscript 1. And I gotta click right arrow a couple times to get out of the fraction there. And then press equals. And then I'm going to do another fraction. 7 minus 4 out of 2 minus 3 equals. 3 meters per second, so I just type in all those things on the keyboard. Okay, so let's try another one here. Uh, so let's do this chi squared formula one here. So the number of chi is over here. Uh, squared and a subscript. Calc. My right arrow equals, now I need the summation symbol. 
Uh, there's a bunch of them here, so that you can t put numbers on the top and the bottom um, if you want to, or I just want this regular one right here. And then I type in, now uh, this is going to be a fraction, so I click the fraction button. And I need a bracket. Now I can type bracket on the keyboard, but often it's better to pick your brackets from up here, and they'll adjust to be the correct size. So I'm going to type F subscript not minus F subscript E and all squares. So I can press right arrow to get outside of the brackets and superscript 2 there and I click down to get down to the denominator and I'll do F subscript E. So that's done. That's the chi-squared formula. Uh, next this uh, correlation coefficient formula here. So R equals and I'll make a fraction and here you just need to capital S and then the subscripts XY and then click down arrow capital S subscript X right arrow capital S subscript Y and then we're done that one. Okay so the next one down below here um, so we're going to, now it looks like a small s. Actually, I think that's supposed to be capital S, so let's put in capital S. Subscript Y. Oops, and then click right and equals. And we just need to go up here for square roots. Uh, you can do cube roots and stuff here as well. But I'm going to click square root here. There's a fraction inside of there. And I need the summation symbol. Oh, we have some things right here, look. I don't even see that, so you can use these sometimes as well. There's lots of things down here you can pick from. Uh, anyway, we need the summation, so I'm going to go up here and click summation. Bracket, I'm going to use these brackets. Y minus Y, and I need the, the vinculum, the line above the Y. So I'm going to go up here, click on that one. And I'll, now be careful, I want to be outside the bracket. Right there is outside the bracket and do the superscript 2. Go down to the denominator and get in. Okay, so that one's done. And if I want to do the last one here, I just need to do subscript xy equals and then yeah, summation of the uh, product of x and y out of n minus x and then I need to get those vinculums again and then click y and then vinculum okay and hmm actually I want a space between those two huh looks like they're totally connected let me try that again so x and then I'm going to Maybe I'll try the other one. Maybe the other one works better for that. Oh, that's Y. Let's just click on this one. Okay, that one actually works better for the vinculum because they don't get connected.